What's up? Today, we're diving into a topic that's both mind-blowing and controversial. Have you ever wondered if it's possible to extend our lives beyond what we thought was humanly possible? Well, buckle up, because today we're exploring the idea of living for a thousand years. What if I told you that scientists are on the brink of unlocking the secrets to halt aging altogether? Yeah, you heard me right. The first person to live for a thousand years has already been born. Let's break it down. You know, we've always wondered what exactly drives aging. Is it just a natural part of life, or is there something more to it? Well, get ready to have your mind blown because Dr. Aubrey de Grey, a brilliant biomedical gerontologist, has dedicated his life to combating aging. Since 2003, he's been spearheading groundbreaking research through the SENS Research Foundation. Their mission is to eliminate age-related health problems and extend our lifespan indefinitely. Now let's talk science. At the tip of our chromosomes, we have telomeres and protein cells that act as a regenerative system. These cells divide and multiply, just like branches of a tree. However, there's a limit to how many times they can split. Once that limit is reached, our bodies start to show signs of aging. But fear not, researchers at the University of Montreal have made incredible progress. They've discovered a molecule that combats the cells responsible for aging. In experiments on rats, this molecule has not only slowed down aging but also reduced the risk of artery plaque buildup. It's a promising step towards a longer and healthier life. Aging is not just about extending our lives, it's about improving the quality of life for an aging population. With advancements in medical care, the average lifespan has already increased, and according to the United Nations, by 2050, the number of people over 60 will double, if not triple. Our world is evolving, and we need to adapt. But here's the catch, progress requires resources. While the scientific community is working tirelessly, funding remains a significant obstacle. Most resources are channeled towards diseases like cancer and pandemics like COVID-19. If we want to unlock the secrets to extended life, we need all world leaders to prioritize and invest in this life-changing research. Scientists at Harvard Medical School also made a major breakthrough. They've uncovered an aging clock that can speed up or even reverse the aging of cells. Yeah, you heard me right. Aging might not be as inevitable as we once thought. Here's the thing. For years, scientists believed that mutations in our DNA were the primary drivers of aging. But that theory didn't quite add up. Older individuals didn't have significantly more mutations in their cells, and those with higher mutation burdens didn't age prematurely. So scientists at Harvard Medical School took a different approach and turned their attention to the epigenome. Now I know the term epigenome might sound intimidating, but think of it as the instruction manual for our cells. It guides them on which genes to activate and which ones to keep quiet. It's like a dressmaker's pattern determining the shape and function of a piece of clothing. The epigenetic instructions control how our cells differentiate and develop into different types of tissues. Our bodies experience a whopping 1 million DNA breaks per minute. Talk about a busy repair crew. As cells work tirelessly to fix these breaks, something remarkable happens. The structure of the DNA, known as chromatin, loosens in some areas and tightens in others. But if the wrong gene is expressed due to a loosened area that's not supposed to be open, it can have dramatic consequences. Imagine your liver cells accidentally activating the wrong genes. Not good, right? This can lead to signs of aging in the entire organ. But here's the big question. How can we prove that aging results from this DNA break and repair process? Well, in a groundbreaking study published in the journal Cell, scientists at Harvard Medical School unveiled something extraordinary. They were able to accelerate aging in mice and brace yourself, reverse its effects. Yeah, they actually made these other little furry creature looks and feel younger again. And how did they do this, you may ask? They've developed this strain of transgenic mice that allows them to turn on and off a special enzyme. When this enzyme is activated, it initiates DNA cuts at a rate three times higher than the natural frequency of breakage. Each cut kickstarts a repair process involving proteins that regulate chromatin structure and gene expression. Normally, these proteins would return to their original locations, and the chromatin structure would reset. But with an accelerated rate of DNA breaks, things get a bit messy. The repair proteins become jumbled up, leading to some genes turning off while others turn on. Those two mice you've seen earlier are both 10 months old, but the older-looking mouse had the cutting enzyme turned on for three weeks when it was young. By comparing their entire chromosome sequences, scientists confirmed that the real drivers of aging aren't DNA mutations, but rather errors in the epigenetic instructions that control the cell's functions. A fascinating theory called the information theory of aging proposes that aging is the result of critical instructions being lost within our cells. It's like a software program running on a corrupted system. But here's the truly mind-blowing part. 
they found a way to reboot that system. The researchers developed a gene therapy involving three key genes responsible for cell reprogramming. By activating these genes, they reset the epigenetic changes in the cells, essentially turning back the clock on aging. And guess what? It worked. The mice regained about 57% of their youthfulness. Talk about a real-life fountain of youth. Now I know what you're thinking. Can this process work in humans? Well, that's exactly what scientists are exploring right now. They're conducting tests on non-human primates, and the results are promising. The goal is to find ways to reverse aging-related diseases like Alzheimer's and even conditions like heart disease. Imagine a world where chronic diseases become treatable by addressing the underlying cause, the aging process itself. It's not just about managing the symptoms, it's about reversing the process that leads to these conditions in the first place. And you know what? This research could be a game-changer for scientists studying age-related diseases. Instead of relying on young animals or tissues to model aging, they can now rapidly age tissues and study them to gain better insights into diseases. Now, before we get too carried away, we need to address the ethical considerations. Rewinding the clock on aging raises profound questions. What would it mean to continually rejuvenate ourselves? How would it impact society as a whole? These are questions we'll have to grapple with as this research progresses. So what do you think? Are we on the brink of a major medical revolution? Can we really reverse aging and unlock the secrets of a longer, healthier life? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Now let's address a burning question that often arises. Is it ethical to tamper with the natural aging process? It's a valid concern. However, as humans, we've been gifted with the ability to acquire knowledge and develop advancements that enhance our lives. The ethical debate aside, imagine a future where we have the freedom to choose our age and live in our physical prime for decades upon decades. The possibilities are endless. Picture this. It's the year 2073, and advancements in medical science have reached unimaginable heights. Imagine a world where we have the option to reset our biological clock, where the concept of age is redefined. Our bodies, once limited by time, can now thrive for centuries. We become pioneers of longevity, rewriting the rules of what it means to be human. Imagine the wisdom and experience we could accumulate if we had centuries at our disposal. We would witness generations grow and evolve, contributing to a society built on the foundation of shared knowledge. The impact on science, technology, art, and culture would be immeasurable. I know many of you might still have reservations, questioning the potential consequences and societal implications. It's important to approach this topic with caution and consider the ethical dilemmas that arise. But let's not limit our imaginations. Let's embrace the possibility of an extended life, a life where we can make a lasting impact and witness the marvels of our ever-changing world. Reminding you that the future is in our hands, let's embrace the possibilities and push the boundaries of what it means to be human. So my friends, as we wrap up today's video, I encourage you to keep an open mind and let your imagination soar. The first person to live for a thousand years is among us, and the journey to unlock this potential lies in our hands. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring. Catch you on the flip side.